Mm, na sziasztok, akkor ki. Ismét egy kis Dragon Age Origins. Csak kicsit belemeregettem a Youtube-ba. Hát valószínűleg az meg fog mozdulni. Zelen kristály. Kizárás és alapon felfelé. Vagy nem tudom, mert így jöttünk le, vagy ott mentünk. Így jöttünk le a korral. Nie ma to tylko jedno. Az amulett, oké. A szoborra nem. De gyanús néke. That's my phylactery! You found it! I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. Oh, so fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. Only apprentice phylacteries are stored in the Circle Tower. This tiny room could not hold the phylacteries of every mage who has passed through the tower doors. Come on, you two. We're done here and we should leave. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. Tehát aki van a mulettyét, mert jól van elpusztított ideje eltűnni a repozoltóról és visszatérni a kör tornyának főbejáratához.
lénynek, miért olyan kevés a tapasztalat, hiszen itt jön mindegy, hogy nem is jelent. As you wish. We did it! I can't believe it! Thank you! We could never have... So what you said was true of... Gregor... An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I'm disappointed, Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the blood mage, then. You are right, Irving. The initiate has betrayed us. The Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the Circle. I'm disappointed in you. You could have told me what you knew of this plan, and you didn't. You don't care for the mages. You just bow to the Chantry's every whim. Enough! As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this Blood Mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. The... the Major's prison? No. Please, no. Not there! No! I won't let you touch her! The Maker, blood magic. How could you? You said you never. I, admit, I, I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. Blood magic is evil, Jowan. It corrupts people, changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please come with me. I trusted you. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, blood mage. Stay away from me. Are you all right? Where's Gregor? I knew it. Blood magic. But to overcome so many, I never thought him capable of such power. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected, given the circumstances. If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. Where is the girl? I... I am here, sir. You helped a blood mage. Look at all he's hurt! You've been a friend, but you needn't defend me any longer. Knight Commander, I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... a blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... even Aenar. Get her out of my sight! And you? You know why the repository exists? Some artifacts, some magics are locked away for a reason. Did you take anything important from the repository? Shall we add thievery to your list of misdemeanors then? I'll be taking that back now, if you don't mind. But your antics have made a mockery of this circle! What are we to do with you? You helped a blood mage escape! All our prevention measures for naught! Because of you! Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army, I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, 
and I would like him to join the Warden ranks. Duncan, this mage has assisted the Malefica and shown a lack of regard for the Circle's rules. He is a danger to all of us. It is a rare person who risks all for a friend in need. I stand by my decision. I will recruit this mage. No! I refuse to let this go unpunished! Rhaegar, mages are needed. This mage is needed. Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for his actions. A blood mage escapes and his accomplice is not only unpunished, but is rewarded by becoming a Grey Warden. Are our rules nothing? Have we lost all authority over our mages? This does not bode well, Irving. Enough. We have no more say in this matter. We must make our way to Ostagar, where the King's army is camped. You will be initiated there. I will explain more when the time comes. Come. Your new life awaits. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, Fred. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I understand you hail from a circle of Magi. I trust you have some spells to help us in the coming battle. Excellent. We have too few mages here. Another is always welcome. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the Tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here.
Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. It is an ordeal. I am sorry that you must endure another so soon. No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Keresd meg Elisztrát a szürke kamarás, megérkeztél királyi sereg táborába, a korkári vadon peremére, rosszmondozó osztárgár ára. Duncan közölte, hogyha készen állsz az egyesülésért, keresd meg a táborban a szürke kamarást, Elisztrát. Ha mondjuk az escape-ről nyomogat nem. Gorsarivar,
Make a watch over you, my lord. Make a watch over you, my lord. Make a watch over you, my lord. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the Tern worries that may not be enough. The Tower of Ishal is off-limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. By orders of Terran Loghain, the tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? Make a speed your steps. Make a watch over you, my lord. Hale, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the Mages. Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the Royal Encampment. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin, 
The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the darkspawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. Good luck to you then. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. As you wish. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a dark spawn. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. <laughs> the last scouting party made it back last night. Barely. What do you mean? There are lots of dark spawn, different kinds. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard of. Our short friend here, for instance, is something called a genlunk. They're pretty common in the Horde, but we've seen others much larger. We don't know where these new dark spawn are coming from or what they can do. 
All I can say is to use caution. There aren't any we've seen that won't die once they bleed enough. This should be easy enough. No, by my socket. I want this nonsense talk stopped immediately. What are you, a bunch of natural fishwives spreading gossip until you brown your small clothes out of terror? We've seen nothing to suggest that the Darkspawn drag our people underground to eat them. And I want this talk about Darkspawn enslaving survivors to stop immediately. Keep your minds focused on the battle. You fight for Ferelden and for your king. Remember that. Whoa, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect anything. Hail to you! You approach the tent of Town Logain. State your business. How can you not know of Logain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Logain, you can bet the King wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Very well. I am the good death here, look for the job. I'm sure of him. Welcome to the King's camp, my lord. Hey, you're one of Duncan's new recruits, correct? I can't let you through to the Korkari Wilds until he gives the word. Take care. <laughs> you may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. You... you need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... You can feel it, can't you? They take the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread, like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. Welcome to the King's camp, my lord. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? I merely pass on the Maker's blessings. He looks kindly on all who will receive him.
Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Sorry, the main army camp is off limits for you right now. contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you... Mm. This isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. You're a Grey Warden, or soon will be. All Wardens are immune to the Darkspawn taint. The most you have to worry about is some tooth marks. Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable dogs in the world. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Re-imprinting them is very difficult. But without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? We can try, but first we need to muzzle and medicate him. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds any time soon? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. If he doesn't get it, chances are he'll need to be put down. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the maker in the land beyond the fade, he shall not... Nu uitea că nu legă și vreau că mă bărbă în boa. Că e treabă de fără. Mai mare cu ea. Și că nu legă și ai reușit de tine așa. Cu cea e mea, mai văd că te iei să văd ce-mi cu ea. Și că e atât de să-i cășoată. Fă-i du-mă, azi nu e bără în bătă, mă bine ai cu sâfșigă fără o dici. A fără e bine ai să-i bine ai cu ea. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been helped. The day by your spilled blood, and if you go to the Jesus Maker, go without blessing. 
for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. Maker above, hear the prayer. What do we have here? I heard the new Grey Warden recruit was from the Circle. I don't believe we've met. But I've certainly heard a lot about your talent. My name is Wynne, and I congratulate you on your harrowing. Marvelous work. The Fade is a dangerous place. I thought the same. It's good you can admit that. So, a Grey Warden, fighting alongside the King. Not too shabby for someone just out of apprenticeship. The king must always seem confident. His behavior affects the troops' morale. He does seem to find his enthusiasm easily, though. Reminds me of a puppy. And I say that with both respect and affection. He is a fine man. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Advice? Never. You young ones know all there is to know about the world anyway. Why would you need advice from an elder? But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Do not obey. It's like an illness across our land. Watch over. For the valiant King Kalen and guide him as he faces this terrible evil. Watch over Terran Loghain and give him the wisdom to bring us victory against the Scourge of Shadow. Watch over Ferelden, the homeland of Holy Andraste. Keep her people safe from the Dark Spawn. That course of action is inadvisable. Welcome, young man. Yes, and you are a mage of the circle. You must be familiar with the tranquil who serve there. I create and oversee the enchantment of weapons and armor for the king's forces here at Ostagar. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. Hmm. 
It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and Lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Goodbye. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. You there, elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? What? Oh, uh, you're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. I, uh, please forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about and I've been waiting for, oh, it's simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought, P please pardon my terrible manners. I, uh, I am just the quartermaster, a simple man, no one special. Yeah, yes, of course, you're very right. Uh, did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me know what you'd like. Hmm. <laughs> Olá, de que menino que vem. Fence, o suporte. Bebedi. Nier Pusco. Até que menino me lembra de pizza em comum. Olha o bebequeiro. Hmm. 
Maybe that doesn't need to go on. Let's get started. I'm sorry, but there's so much to do before the battle. I must attend to my duties or I'll get the switch. Don't try this too. Just between you and me. Me a bella curti. You're very lucky to have such an opportunity. Tell me if you need anything, friend, and I'll try to get it. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the Revered Mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. Oh, nothing. Just trying to find a bright side to all this. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage, the circle is here at the king's request. And the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are. Which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the Chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the Revered Mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. You do? Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Hmm.
Eris a Duncan megtaláltat Eris tett és Manny vissza kéne a Blind Duncan tűzéhez. Akkor a Veronba vezető kapuhoz. Very well. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk, we stand here on the eve of battle. Let us consider the evil before us. In their you found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, Duncan. I'll go collect who we're missing. This is Sir Jory, a knight from Redcliffe. How do you do? And this here is Davith, a fellow from Denerim. That's me. I'm a fellow. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. Now then. Since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. For the joining itself, I'll explain more once you've returned. You weren't recruited out of charity. All three of you are skilled and resourceful. Alistair is the most junior member of our order and will accompany you as is tradition. Do not worry. I doubt you will need to go far into the wilds to find what you seek. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds Abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task.
Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Seres Haram, you were in each for two years. Thank and good. There is that good. Position take a share. You're it, Dave. Quick, everybody, bro. At the end. A for checking. Which Haram, you were in the great Seres Haram. We are at the other issue. It's the top of the stories. Szeretd meg a százat és minden kamerát sok tudább. Az egyes és a második lépés, keresd meg Perisztert, rumba az őszőki kamerát támaszkod. Vadonban. Régi nagyon fontos százat, mint a tegnap. Melyeket vissza kell szeretni. Told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Finally, some wildlife. I thought everything was out to get us. Go. 
Let's get what we came for and head back to Duncan. On it. Let's get started. Tájka zde je špontu, kdo byl vědět, že je kde rengit, tak je to to zase kdo tím dělal. Kdeš jdu, musím jít do těch dám, skoro před hladět, kdo je fotorže, ale a moje je to mít jeti. So. You're the one we spent all that time waiting for, hmm? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerun for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were going to string me up right there. Duncan stopped them, invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. <laughs> Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me, but he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> All right, for an old bugger, he's faster than he looks too. You heard the same speech I did. Blood and old treaties. Off we go into the wilds. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? <laughs> yes? Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? Greetings. It is good to finally have a moment to speak with you. I hail from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Have you travelled there? I was in Arleman's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arleman gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the Blight defeated. Last month, Duncan visited Hyver, and the ban held a tournament in his honour. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. 
He has a seemingly impossible task with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. We need to find those documents and the Darkspawn blood. It should be... interesting. Indeed. Let's get what we came for and head back to Duncan. Over here! Who is that? Grey Wardens? Well, he's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Um, I... I've got to get out of here. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the Horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die, but we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. Here is your weakness. Here we go. Dead yet? Oh, no. 
Look there, poor slobs. That just seems so excessive. That's fair enough for good, so poor old way there, I think. Right. Only one shall stand. No mercy! As you wish.
Let's get started. Look at this mess! I love it! Only one shall stand. You never had a chance! As you wish. Come, you can do better than that. We fight! Thank you. 